Hello again, I am Blunty. This is, I think, the fifth time I've pressed record trying to record this video. The problem is I keep trying to tell you the story about why I need a new mouse and why I had to go for a really, really cheap mouse, $4 mouse, uh, right here. We'll get to that in a second. But as I tell the story, we get four minutes into the video before I even start talking about this mouse itself because I keep just waffling and telling little side stories and things like that. And some of you like that, but I feel like this video would be more better received. It was just... Because the title is going to say, hey, I bought a $4 mouse and people are going to come to the video and, well, what about the $4 mouse? Is the $4 mouse any good? I'm really curious. I'm just, 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 just. Point is, I normally have two mouse on my desk because I do a dual PC setup for different kinds of workloads, usually streaming and things like that. Uh, on the secondary one, I have this little Logitech G703, quite nice little mouse. On the main rig, I normally run that Asus uh, Gladius 2 wireless mouse that I talked about in a video a couple of months ago or whatnot, uh, but that had to go back to Asus. It was a, it was a sample. It's on the, on the books as a sample. I couldn't keep it because that would mess up their paperwork. They say they're going to send me out a new one to replace it, but if and when that happens, I don't know. Uh, how long it's going to take to get here, I don't know. So I needed a new mouse. Problem is, my budget is very tight at the moment. Uh, and I just don't have the budget to buy a nice, a nice new gaming mouse. When it office works which if you're Australian, you know exactly what that is. If you're not Australian, it's just kind of an office supply store. You get all kinds of stuff. So I went in there expecting to buy like a, like a $20 mouse, just a $20 Microsoft mouse or whatever it is. Just something basic to get me by until I can actually afford to buy a decent mouse again or have one sent to me for free because I'm a YouTuber and sometimes that happens when companies go, hey, check out a new thing. Thank you very much. So I went in, looked at the shelf and tried to find the, uh, the best sort of $20 mouse there. And I saw a $4 mouse as the title of the video and the intro of the video would reveal. I went, well, I've got to try a $4 mouse, don't I? But there was also, for, for double the price, $8, you get a wireless mouse. And considering that I, I, the, the budget that I had scraped out of my food budget was about $20 worth, uh, I figured, well, I could buy both these mice and still not spend as much as I was planning to spend on a basic mice. So I, uh, I'll buy them and I'll make a video and, and sort of, Review them, I suppose. It's not going to be a long review, which is why I'm spending so much time waffling. And I've done it again, haven't I? We're only two minutes, three minutes into waffling. At least we're talking about the mouse now. So let's unbox them, plug them in, and use them. And I'll give you my thoughts in a second. Would it surprise you to learn that a mouse that I bought for $4 is complete trash? No? Yeah. It's kind of hoping for like a, like a Cinderella story. 
secret four dollar treasure out of office works and it was surprisingly good and it was you know it was it was just as good as, as the standard sort of pack-in mouse you get with new PCs. No, it's, it's just not. This thing feels like a toy. Like it feels like, in fact, maybe maybe if you got a kid that breaks stuff. I mean, it works as a mouse and it works plug and play. Of course it does. You plug it in, you go doodly doot and the thing works and the scroll will works and, and everything. And But the feel of it, it's, it's too small for my hands for a start. Again, it might be good for a kid. The buttons, oh, I don't know if you can, if that's coming through on the microphone, but they just feel terrible. These buttons do not feel satisfying to click. They're a bit, I don't know, they're a bit too stiff and the activation just feels in the wrong spot. And the, the, the cable, it just feels like it's going to last about 32 seconds. Uh, but for a $4 mouse, uh, I mean... It delivers about four dollars worth of value. The wireless mouse, however, um, it, it's also not good. It is better than I thought it would be. For an $8 wireless mouse, again, plug and play, plug it in, works straight away. Came, comes with batteries, by the way. Did you see that in the unboxing segment? Did you see it came with batteries? Shocking. Um, there is no wired backup on it. You can't use it wired in an emergency if your batteries go flat. If your batteries go flat, you're, you're, you're boned. But this is acceptable enough to get me through. The size is a little bit too small again, but it's it's okay, it's usable. Scroll wheel works nicely. I mean, the activation is a little bit more pleasant, a little bit more gentle. But overall, I'd have to say this, this J Burroughs wireless mouse made in China, there's no other sort of branding on it, from Officeworks for $8 or $7.99 or $7.95 or whatever the bloody hell it was. I mean, for an $8 wireless mouse, yeah. It'll get me through. It'll get me by until, until, until like Asus send me out a new mouse or Razer knock at the door or, you know, Corsair. Corsair peeps, you watching? I'm in desperate need of another, a, a new mouse, a good mouse. Because while this will solve my functionality problem, it's, 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 it's deeply unpleasant to use. So there you go. If you, like me, are desperate just for a mouse to get you out of trouble. Your, your good mouse is broken. You can't afford to buy another another good mouse, a new mouse. Uh, head, head down to Officeworks. Don't skip on the $4 one. Crash. Pretty sure that just broke. I'm going to go get that in a minute. But yeah, $8 wireless mouse. Not trash. I mean, it's not great, but it's not trash. Consumer advice. Useful and, and, and handy from Blunty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I broke that. that. That instantly fell apart. The instant it hit the ground, it fell apart. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. This thing isn't even screwed together. There's a there's a post for a screw here, and there's a there's a hole for the for the post there. But there's no there was no screw on it. I think it was just plastic welded on there. Yeah, it definitely was. This whole mouse is held together by friction, and only one friction point. Like that was it. Just it's squeezed into that little tube there. I mean, it's hard to get it. Wait, is that screwed in? No, it's not screwed in. I just can't get it off here. No, wait, there is a screw in there. I apologize. It is held in my screw. There's a teeny tiny little screw, probably also made of plastic deep in there. But yeah, the instant this hit the ground, it, it broke. Um, See, so now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, what can I do with the guts of this? You know what I could do? I could, I could make one of those latency checker things that you see channels like Linus Tech Tips using where, you know, you click a mouse button, it lights up the light, and then you see the action on the screen. You can tell what the latency is. When it... No. I don't know. There's a prism in there. Maybe I could do something with the prism. Do you have any ideas about what to do with a broken fold on a mouse? Let me know. You can go now.